students whatever homework is given to you you have to submit it on the very next day between 8 am to 1 pm to the given whatsapp number and it is compulsory to submit your homework as your attendance will be marked on the basis of your submission student i am gavita gupani from kgk school i am here to make you learn social science of standard times our lesson will be cultural heritage of india traditional handicraft and fine arts as we have seen that our india is rich in our cultural things heritage and for that we have different types of arts that is our india is possessing about 64 types of arts and in this arts we are having all these arts activities we are having got from our forefathers from our parents and this for this inheritance that is father classified into three types it is inheritance genetic inheritance first second is material inheritance and third is cultural inheritance genetic inheritance means the physical and the mental characteristics which a child get by his birth from his parents all these things which we get from our parents our features our eyes our knows our our characteristics what they are thinking how they are working all the things which we get from our parents is known as genetic inheritance material inheritance means the properties the assets which our forefather leave for us have made for us they have created they have built all these things for us for giving when they are having our their life when they are doing their business they all develop this all things things for us For, men, for making our life comfortable, all these things which we are getting from parents, that is material properties, material inheritance. In it contains properties, assets, liquids, that is liabilities, and all these things. For the liabilities means the things which we have to pay. Whether when suppose our father or fathers dies and they leave behind us our their business, but in that business we have some assets and some liabilities also. that is we have to pay to some persons also that is known as liabilities all these things are known as material inheritance our third inheritance is about the cultural cultural inheritance means the things which we get mentally from our parents that is how they were thinking how they were having their intellectuality all this intellectuality we were getting from them their skill their type of work they are doing the hunar that is the word hunar skill matlab hunar that is the what they were possessing how they were working how they were making the things and that beliefs how they were thinking how they were believing in other communities religious all these things they were getting all these things are known as cultural inheritance our further the next point we have seen that the inheritance things means general genetic material and cultural now we will see our india has different types of arts in this different types of arts 64 arts we will now here refer about the five and seven to eight type of arts and the first art that is art of clay work the work which was done on the clay because the children the things which we are using in our earlier life in our earlier civilization mostly the people were found of clay they are making the things made up of clay that is they we used to do their but things made by clay in harappan civilization in lothal areas we have find many remains about the clay and in in the swali civilization also this clay is as it is from that we can say that as a man is re closely related to the clay because from his birth from up to till his death that is from cradle to grave man is related to clay it means when he is got birth he is put he is made to use the use of ties that are made up of clay he used to make sleep that is made up of panna that is also of clay and things he using to make the food that is on the made up on the stove that is made up of clay and in his younger ages when he is working in his field for earning grain for growing grains that is also the use of making clay and in earlier life also in the in his latest life also he when he is dead he is his uh, his bones are got buried in the clay so it is closely said that the man is related to the clay from cradle to grave from his birth till his end 
All men are related to clay. We have found, mostly found out the two types of clay. That is baked clay, baked clay and the unbaked clay. Baked clay means the clay which is we are burning. We are making it baked. Back, it means when we are making the things of idlis and this, we are baking them. In the same way, we are baking the clay also. We are making bricks to bake it and that big bricks are used for construction so that they can be they can become stronger and stronger they get not uh, got disturbed did, did not get disturbed so baked clay and unbaked clay unbaked clay is another name is terracotta terracotta is the unbaked clay that is also a stronger clay which is used to making the pictures that the pictures means the pots and which the, we can put the water, we can put the anything as grains also for storing grains we are using this and unbaked clay is used for these things it is mostly found by Nagarjun Konda and Long, Longanaj that is in Masana district these areas are mostly found of the areas in, from which we are getting the clay and that is used by different different workers, different different persons to make the work easily it is this clay is mostly used in making the lamps, lamps that we are burning at the time of Diwali to making our festival decorative. We are using the lamps to pictures. Pictures means the things that it is a small pots in which there are holes and which is fully decorated. And these pictures are used during the Navratri festival by the women when they are doing Ras and Garba. They use this type of pictures. They are fully decorated to make it more attractive. The scene of Navratri at the night doing Ras and Garba, they are putting these pictures. And it is this clay is also used in utensils. Utensils means the buttons, the things in which we prepare our food. On this also, these things use the clay is used by the villagers, by the small per, uh, persons who are not having their more income. It is used by making the toys. The, the children of small person, that is the poor people, use the use the toys made up of clay. That is, they make small elephants, they make small birds, small toys to, to they make rathis to make that they make small small cars so to make to play with them. And they also the small villagers also used to make the chula. Chula means the stove on which they are making their food. It is also made up of clay. And the storewares. The storewares means the things in which they are making big tanks in which they are storing their food. That is, the, they are storing their grains for their future, for their coming year, coming months. That is, in rainy season, they are storing the rainwater also in this store storewares. Mean. And in this storeware, they are putting grains, they are putting curd, they are putting milk so that it does not get spoiled and it is fully preserved. These all things are made to make the things people work easy. And mostly this belongs to Lothal and Monjadaro. The, this, this type of clay and utensils and things which were earlier also used by our civilization, by our civilization peoples. That is in Lothal at the time when the remains were found from Lothal, we found this type of clay. And at the time of Monjadaro also, when the buildings were found from the interior of the earth, this type of clay was found. So we can say that the clay work is not a work done in this year also, this time, but it is the work which we are doing from civilization to civilization, we are using these things. Our next topic is about the art of weaving. It is also a type of art. Art of weaving means when we are weaving a cloth from small thread, from a long, from a small cotton balls, that is swab, swab, it is made by spinning, a long thread is made. That is, by the spinning method mostly was found by Gandhiji, as Gandhiji has given more importance to spinning because Gandhiji said that by spinning, making the people to make their clothes, they can get their income by by building their cottage industries. To give more importance to cottage industries, Gandhiji has used the word spinning wheels to make the people get their income easily. And this, in this weaving, art of weaving is mostly found in Dhaka also, that is the Dhaka of fine muslin. It is the area 
of Pakistan, that is Dhaka is known, is known as the area which is most famous for Dhaka, that is the fine, it is a type of cloth that is found in muslin of Dhaka, it is famous there. It is unique identity, this type of weaving uh, gives us unique identity during the time of year. Uh, earlier rulers also, that is the Solonki, when the Solonki rulers were working at the Sarandi dynasty, in, at that time also the doctor, uh, the ruler named Sidra Jai Singh gave more important to this person, the, gave more important to the weavers, that is the art of weaving was mostly prominent during that time. And uh, in this we have also, at that time we have also, because Sidra Jai Singh was the king who made the pattern as the capital city of its country. So at that time he gave important to a uh, weaving work, that is a uh, backward Aikade. Backward Aikade means weaving. It is made in Patola, that is the Patola saris are made in pattern, that are world famous. These saris are made in such a way that the fine silk is used which is easily, which can be easily passed from a small ring. That is, from this ring, they can easily pass five to six meters of clothes from this small rings. And from this rings, they can pass easily fine clothes. That is, uh, it can be folded in such a way that it can also be get filled in a small matchbox. That is the main identity, that is the main point about this patola of pattern. It is the main thing about characteristics about this work, about this weaving because it is the weaving done in such a way that it can get more durability. It, this is the sari which is used in double sided. It means the cloth which can be used on both the sides. From one side it gives another print, from another side it gives nest, different print. It is also durable. Durable means it is used, it can be used for a longer time. That is, it gives durability. It is original color. It, its colors does not fade away. This is the main characteristics about the patola of pattern. It for this the well being, the well saying is also done about this patola. That is the the design laid down in patola. The design which is laid down, which is made in patola in weaving, shall never fade. Its colors never get fade. Means its colors never go. And even if the clothes may be done out, whether the cloth is there, whether we have wear it from years to years, then also it looks new and new. Its color does not fade. That is, in Gujarati it is also said, the people kapru bhati jai, but they to te paan te kharaar nati thadu, they fade nahi hota hai. Is taras in fade, it does not fade, it is said in also. Next is about a patolas. We have learned about the weaving art. It is mostly found in the Kutch areas, in Rajasthan, in all these areas. We have been this type of weaving art. And in, in pattern, it is the most famous area. That is world level. We are using the patolas. It, this type of you know, weaving work is done in Kanjivaram saris, in Banarasi saris, that is used in South India. And the people used in South India are using this type of silk saris. It is Kanjivaram saris, Banarasi saris, and it is more famous. From there, it, they are sold to different different countries also. This type of work is mostly found in India only. In India only, not in any other country. It is found. Next, our point is about the art of embroidery. In this art of embroidery, we see that embroidery is done on the cloth that is used by the decorating our idols, decorating our statues. When we want to decorate our statues and idols of our god and goddesses, at that time we use this type of embroidery work. And it is also done on different different things also. That is on things that is of, we are using it on our mojuris in Rajasthan people. They used to do work embroidery on their mojuris. That is also famous in the Rajasthan. They are doing also this embroidery work on the purses, on the beds, in different things they are using this work. And this embroidery work was also found from earlier ancient times, that is Harpan and Indraswani civilization. All these people who are using this type of embroidery work from their time also. And this uh, embroidery, the kasab in Kashmir, Kashmir people are doing the work of kasab. There is the well famous known work as kasab that is found in Kashmir. 
done by the Kashmiri people. And then the Bhangani in Rajasthan is mostly found. People of Rajasthan are mostly familiar with the work doing of Bhangani. That is Bhangani in, found in Jamnagar, Rajkot, Jaipur and Mandevi. All the places in Gujarat also we are doing this type of work. That is Bhangani. This type of work is done to give the different colors, to give the different shapes. Their design of puppet, dice, pictures, elephants, all these are made by putting the stones in the cloth in between and tying the thread around it and then it is dipped in the colors so that the, it gives the different shapes, it gives the different look of Bandhani. It is one famous cloth. Use, it is making this and an embroidered work is also used in making torans, chakra, quilt and shawls. People of in North India use an quilt and shawls to cover their body and on that also this embroidery work is done. It is mostly found by the deaf community of Bani, that is Kutch people also are doing this type of work and they are famous for doing this work and they are also having making their pairs in Rajasthan also in white in white desert. They are putting their things in pairs to sell to get their embroidery work world famous at the level. So this embroidery work is also put in uh, them by different different areas. People of different areas are putting such things. Thus we have learned about the inheritance, about the clay work, art of clay work, art of weaving and art of embroidery. Now we will learn about the inlay works and other types of works. Well now we have, we have seen that the art of clay, art of embroidery and art of puddens. Now we will refer about the leather industries. The leather industries is mostly found in the villages, in the cities also where the people are using, mostly the farmers are using masak. Masak means it is the bag in which they are filling the water, in which they are filling the waters and taking it to the, their fields to water their plants. Next it is kos, drum, it is also used by the music, music men, music instruments, that is the drum, dolaks, tabla, it, in them belows, belows it the thing which is used by the blacksmith. The blacksmith when his belows is used to make its work easy. So he used the belows. Now we will see that the leather is also used in footwear. Footwear the wear, uh, footwears means the chapals, sandals we are using. And in the belts, the young men, young students are using the belt that is made up of leather. And in also it is used in also in the purses of the ladies' purse. Leather is mostly found in all these things. Leather is also used for controlling the horse, camel while riding on them. For decorating the horse and camel's backside, that is sage, palm, lagam is used. Lagam means it is to control when we are riding on the camel. We want to control him. We want to make right according to our wishes. So we use the lagam that is made up of leather. Why it is used to prepare everything that is used in the other vehicles also. Now we will see that the leather is the industry which is mostly found in the in the sides as in Uttar Pradesh mostly and where the, this leather industry is, all this leather is made from the dead skin, from the skin of the dead animals and the, their skin is taken out, it is fully washed first and then only that the leather is prepared and from that, that leather, leather we are using all these materials, we are making all these materials and it is mostly found in Uttar Pradesh its sites, Andhra Pradesh and from in every in the sites where the most animals and it is used from the cows, leather of the cows, sheep, camels, horses, their skin. Our next topic is about the diamond beads work and animal work. Diamond bead works and animal diamond are mostly found from the coastline. That is India is having largest coastline. That is India is surrounded by three sites from the around by the water. And we have for that we have 7,517 km long coastline. And from this water area, we are finding many types of diamonds in mostly found in the sea areas from the sea waters. Diamonds like coinil, that is the diamond which is mostly which is most rarely found. That is the coinil. It was used mostly by the great Mughal emperors. Mughal emperors which were first ruling in a, on our country, they used this koinur as a diamond and it was most precious diamond at that time. 
and now also. And then they use the rubies, beads, emerald thrones, and the rubies. It is a it is a stone that is found in uh, in different colors. That is red color, blue color rubies, beads. It means the motis which we are using in our necklaces, in which we are using in our malas. That is beads, emerald. It is also a stone of different colors. This all the rubies, beads, and emeralds are used in making in preparing the thrones. Thrones on which the king used to sit, the crowns on which the king used to wear, when it means the Taj. Crown is means the Taj that is prepared from all these precious materials that is rubies, beads, and emeralds. And uh, along this, the, we use this red beadwork. Beadwork is used at the time of Moria and in Indoni ceremonies. That mostly the village peoples are doing the ceremonies of their small children. That is uh, making them ceremony of Enegan, Janya, Ganya, and uh, making their marriages at the small ages. At that time, they used the Moria and Indoni, as, and these all things are used in their ceremonies and making their clothes look beautiful. Next up is our animal work. Animal work is mostly found to give the bright brightness to all these things, to all the materials. To all the materials to give their brightness, we use animals. Animals, it is mostly found in red color, green, blue color, and it is found in gold and silver ornaments. While we are making gold and silver ornaments for our use to make it more attractive, to make it more decorative, it we are using these colors to get it shining beautifully. So when we use the red color, green color, blue color in ornaments also. It gives, it means we are enameling using enamel work. And it is mostly found, this type of work is mostly found in Jaipur, Delhi, Lucknow, Varnasi, and Hyderabad. These are the places where the enamel work is mostly done. And the people of these areas are mostly founding their work. They are getting their income by doing this type of work. It is famous areas in our India for enamel work. It gives brightness, it gives decoration. It decorates our ornaments to look more and more attractive. To make ornaments attractive, we are using this enamel work. We also find this enamel work is done on the chains and on the piles which the ladies are wearing. They are color colored. So this enamel work is done on them, on silver and gold things. Our next topic is about the jerry work. Jerry work means the work which is done on our clothes. To decorate our clothes, to look our, uh, to make our clothes or own direct, uh, decoratively. So this jerry work is done. It is the thread which is made of gold or silver, from gold or silver thread. It is a jerry work means a thread which is used and in a golden or silver color. It is worn in clothes. It is worn while we are making our clothes, weaving our clothes. We make use of this golden or silver thread. That is the jerry work. It is mostly found in Surat and Jari work is famous in using the work on saris, Gagra Choli, the people wearing Gagra Choli in Rajasthan. This type of work is found in their Gagras, in the gear, the long gown gears they are having in their uh, Gagras. All these are made of the Jari work to make it more attractive, to use it on the different festivals, on different occasions, to make the ladies use on this different occasions, all these things are made. And embroidery of the Jadoshi work, it is found on knitting. Knitting means the sweater which we are making. On that also the knitting work, the embroidery is made. And it is made up of Jadoshi work. That is the silver and golden thread is used to make it more attractive. So that the sweater or small children like all these things and they are found of this wearing these things. Our next topic is about the metal work. Metal work means the things which we find from our in Interior, interior layer of the earth that is the metal that the metal earth metal was mostly found after the stone age when the people used to do more and more work on stone after then they used to develop the metals that they were found of metals and this metals is used as of different types that is it is metal of copper metal of bronze metal of idols brass all these things are made up of different metals. Gold and silver is also a metal. The gold and silver are the precious metals. 
and the copper bronze is used in making wires in electric things while brass is used for utensils and copper and bronze metal are used for making preparing weapons sickles sickles is the thing which is used by farmers to fill the things from the field drill to when they are drilling the earth to put the seeds they use the drill machine drill things machines needle a small needle which we are using in sewing which we are using in our hands for working for doing embroidery all these things are made up of iron bronze nitch metal and gold and silver metal is also used for making the preparation of ornaments for ladies for gents for mostly the kings and queens all these ornaments are made from this gold and precious silver metals next brass is used for making for preparing utensils utensils that are used by each and every person each and every citizen of our country that they used because each and every one who is living he used to do his food then prepare his food and that food is prepared in the utensils which are made up of brass and it is also used in made up in making idols the statues when we want to make statues and idols of our god and goddesses we use the metal that is brass next our topic is about the wooden art it is the art which which is used mostly by the carpenters they used it. carpenters make the use of wood in making doors windows in car in furnitures in our homes and by the small villagers that is wood is used as a firewood and they also used it in preparing weapons and for building their constructions that is for building their huts making their pillars use of wood they use the work of wood sewings and toys it is used mostly by the small children and it is mostly found in the ida and sankheda that is the well known places to found in gujarat found for wooden art they are preparing different different types of toys and swings for the different different children so that they get attracted to use these things and they are also easy for that next it is our inlay work inlay work means the work which is done on ornaments this ornaments are made by using the precious gems it is mostly this work is mostly done on crowns the king's crowns rings they are using bracelets they are wearing tikka the ladies are wearing in rajasthan mostly the women are wearing tikka that is on that tikka the inlay work is done it is also done by the using of different colors and different gems in small small stones they are used to do this inlay work it is mostly found in bikaner is the place of rajasthan which is mostly famous for doing this type of work it is world famous and last of it about our akai work akai work is found it is a stone which is found in the valleys in the mountainous areas and from this mountainous area the different stones are brought are found and this stones are put on different different things that is on our clothes on our ornaments in our things which we are using in our daily life and for that an area surat and khambar are the places which are world famous for this type of akai work thank you we will now refer about our musics and different dramatic art in our in our next chapter